Welcome back in everyone and happy Monday to you. Uh, happy uh, July the 10th, whichever day it is. I think that's today. It is the day. Happy July the 10th to everyone. Uh, back here with another Shuckers update for you. Shuckers just wrapping up with a, a pretty long road trip. Um, or well, a pretty long stretch of games and with a homestand and then a uh, another six game road trip after that took taking on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. So let's get into uh, what they did over the weekend. So Shuckers split the series once again with the Blue Wahoos split that one three to three, won the game on uh, Tuesday, eight to five, lost the Wednesday game three to one, won the Thursday game ten to four, lost the Friday game ten to three. Won the Saturday game 10 to 9 and lost the Sunday game 10 to 9. So a lot of runs scored, <laughs> a lot of home runs scored, or home runs hit rather, uh, in this series over in Pensacola. Uh, and fun, uh, not fun fact, but just fact of the matter is, it, things could have ended up a little bit differently. The Shuckers were without uh, Jackson Churio and Jefferson Cairo for probably the back half of this series as they were out in Seattle for the MLB Futures game as it is MLB All Star weekend uh, coming up this weekend and over the next couple of days. So uh, the minor leagues have their own uh, bit of an all-star break, and that's where we find the Shuckers at right now. They get an unprecedented four days off uh, this week. So off today as usual, off Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as well before they come back into town to take on the Rocket City Trash Pandas uh, for just a quick three-game series just over the weekend. Uh, but taking a look at what the Trash Pandas have done recently uh, over their last week or so. Uh, Trash Pandas uh, were just up in, uh, or at home rather, against Chattanooga. They split the series against Chattanooga, winning on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday as well. So while we're here, we'll take a look at uh, the Southern League standings overall which are here. So as we've said, remember, they split these things up into uh, the first half of the season and the second half of the season. So uh, Pensacola were the winners of the first half of the season, so they are guaranteed a playoff spot. So we're going to focus our attention down here for now in the Southern League South. So everything starts back over once we get into the second half of the season. So this is why the records uh, look like they do. They've played a lot more games than this. But Biloxi sitting at the bottom of the Southern League South. But good news is they're only a game and a half behind so getting a couple of wins uh, wins in um, in any series will help them uh, tremendously. So everyone sitting pretty even. Mississippi, the M Braves, leading the pack at six and five, but also tied with Montgomery at six and five. Pensacola sitting at uh, an even five hundred at six and six, and Biloxi sitting at five and seven. So uh, up in the Southern League, North Chattanooga were the winners of the first half in the northern side of the division. Uh, the Tennessee Smokies uh, with a pretty good lead there in first, sitting at eight and four. Rocket City sitting at six and five. Chattanooga at an even 500 of six and six. And Birmingham sitting at three and eight. As well, so that is what happened in the series so far. Some other uh, housekeeping news, really, uh, for the Shuckers. Uh, Tyler Black finally uh, cracking the MLB prospects top 100 list, sitting there at number 100. Uh, many of us have thought that this was really a long time coming. Uh, he's had a heck of a season so far. He's been really, really good at the plate, and he's been even better on the Bates paths. Uh, hitting 273, 63 hits, 11 home runs, 37 RBI, and the most impressive part to me about all this is uh, 41 stolen bases. He's chasing the record for stolen bases for the Shuckers. That was Johnny Davis. Um, he had 52, so Tyler Black just with uh, needing 53 to become the all-time leader in stolen bases for the Shuckers. And uh, very quickly, I want to take a look kind of beyond uh, <laughs> uh, double-A baseball up into the majors. As we said, it is All-Star Weekend, and former George County Rebel Justin Steele, as we said last week, was selected to the All-Star game on the NL roster. He's a pitcher for the Cubs, and the, uh, the Loosedale native makes the first George County alum ever selected to the MLB All-Star Game. So right now, he's sitting at a 9-2 record with a 2.56 ERA and has 81 strikeouts on the year. So he will hopefully get a nod and get a couple of pitches in in the All-Star Game tomorrow evening. All-Star Game is out in Seattle this year. It is set for uh, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, all part of a big all-star weekend 
Uh, but my favorite part of the All-Star Weekend is tonight, as that is the Home Run Derby this evening. That is uh, taking place tonight at 7 o'clock. But as we said, so no shuckers for a couple of days. That Rocket City Series this coming up weekend is just a three-game series. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday is Mississippi State night. Uh, Saturday has a bucket hat giveaway. And uh, Sunday, as always, is a Family Fun Day Sunday out there at MGM Park. So just a couple of chances left, about three or four home stands left for the Shuckers in the rest of the regular season, counting this coming up weekend. Um, so pl still plenty of chances to get out there. Uh, shortened series this weekend, uh, just the three games. Uh, and, you know, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 6 o'clock, 6.35, and 5 o'clock pitch uh, for this coming up weekend. But uh, no shuckers in the normal schedule, so none today, none tomorrow through Thursday. They're back in action at MGM Park on Friday. We'll be out there, and we'll hope to see you there as well.